to talking about the latest 5G demos that you have. Yeah, so we have two of our prototype systems that we've built to uh, align and be based off the 5G new radio. That's the uh, standard that's being developed within 3GPP. Uh, behind me here over on the right, or my right, uh, we have our millimeter wave uh, demonstration. And what we're doing here is util utilizing some of these higher spectrum bands, bands above 24 gigahertz. Uh, specifically in this demo, we're utilizing uh, 28 gigahertz. And what we're showcasing here is that we can actually enable mobile deployments at these higher spectrum bands that were traditionally used for point-to-point fixed type uh, you know, transmissions. And with those higher bands, you get uh, you know, propagation loss and blockage. And so a lot of these new techniques that we're bringing, these advanced antenna techniques, we're enabling to actually do mobile deployments. And so we're showing things like actually being able to be in a vehicle and do handovers between base stations. So like your typical mobile type deployments at these higher spectrum bands. And the reason why we want to use those high spectrum bands is you got lots of bandwidth up there. And that's how we can enable you know, applications like streaming 4K video uh, to your phone. So uh, how do you how do you do that? How are you able to follow the car? Yeah, yeah. So the with the uh, some of the advancements that we've had in antenna technology, what we're doing is with these millimeter wave bands, you can pack a lot of antennas into a small space, and so then you can use beam forming to actually direct the RF energy at the specific user. And then with all these advancements that we've had in silicon processing, we can actually track the user in a real-time setting. I know. Uh, are you showing that you? this is the simulating what's going to happen in the future? Yeah, so this is our, our hardware prototype system. So again, we're in the R&D phase of uh, 5G today. So the specification for 5G hasn't been set. So we build these prototypes very early on, and they're built to kind of flexibly track the standards process. And so ultimately, this will become what actually goes inside your uh, smartphone today, our smartphone of the future. But this is built to track the standardization and move towards uh, commercialization. So in uh, 835, you're talking about the X16 modem? Yeah. This is for one of the next ones. Yeah, so this is, this is, this is, this is this, so we talk about the X50 today, which is our 5G modem family that we're now in development. X50, yes, we announced on uh, Sunday expanding that family to support 5G new radio. And so this, the, the work that we're doing on this prototype system is actually going to be utilized to build, or, or a lot of the work that's coming out of that is being utilized to build that ASIC uh, for commercial deployments in your in premium smartphones come 2019. 2019, right now is a FPGA kind of system, right? Correct, FPGA, DSP. And then later it's just going to be a few millimeters. Yeah, so like, yeah, so as as we do at Qualcomm, we, we build, uh, we're very good at building ASICs, building modems uh, that are form factor ready for small devices like your smartphones. Right here is uh, Qualcomm's uh, speciality. Yeah, this is where we start inventing the technologies uh, that are going to find the next generation. And so we, we build these systems to exactly do that, is start to test and validate and prototype these different uh, technologies. And this is a different demo right here? Yeah, this, so this is the different. So over here we were talking about uh, millimeter wave bands. Uh, those are the bands above 24 gigahertz. But bands below so 6 gigahertz are still going to be very important in a 5G system. So whereas millimeter wave was more about kind of uh, small cell deployments, more local deployments, and adding kind of a data boost to that. Six, uh, sub six gigahertz is going to be where we're going to get kind of that ubiquitous coverage. We're going to get be able to uh, service a lot of the variation of use cases uh, that we're envisioning with 5G. Everything from uh, your smartphone, but everything to connected cars, drones, IoT, are all going to be utilizing that sub six gigahertz bands. Uh, and so what we're showcasing uh, in this demo specifically is uh, some of the, as the standard is progressing, we are we have implement, implemented some of the designs that that standard has accepted in this prototype system. And then we actually have a, a live prototype system operating uh, and showcasing it here based on the 3GPP design, implementing some of the advanced technologies like Massive MIMO, which is basically putting a lot of antennas in the base station in order to be to increase both coverage and capacity of a cell. So you need to add more antennas in the base stations, and there's uh, millions of base stations. Yeah. Uh, and 
and there's going to be uh, and uh, the world is pretty big. This, that means a lot of activity in this. Yeah, a lot of a lot of activity uh, to to get to from now until 2019. Things need to get installed. We have to. We'll, we announced uh, Qualcomm announced with a lot of our partners. Uh, uh, trials starting at the end of this year. So as soon as the end of this year, you're going to see, based off that 3GB standard, actual trials and, and systems being implemented uh, within the network. And uh, uh, that, that means a lot of uh, Qualcomm chips. A lot of yeah. Qualcomm solutions are going to be shipped. Yeah, yeah. And so now we're not, you know, beyond just the smartphone where we ship a lot of chips today. We're talking about 5G being able to be in all sorts of different devices and offering all sorts of different services. And uh, Qualcomm is also at the base station? So, so Qualcomm is more on the device side. We also do small cells, uh, which are the smaller base stations uh, that are more local type environments. But Qualcomm did announce some ARM chips that are going to be powering some servers, but this is a different kind of uh, trade show maybe. Yeah, yeah different yeah. kind of trade show. This one's right more focused on the mobile. Yeah. And uh, so that's going to be lots of new, uh, and the 3GPP is uh, the whole industry, and the Qualcomm has a big role in there. Right? Yeah, that is, the 3GPP is, is developing the global standard for 5G. So this is going to be a unified standard uh, across the world and so yes, Qualcomm plays a very important role in both contributing our designs uh, to 3GPP uh, and then building chipsets based off that 3GPP specification.